Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. YouTube, Longboys Post 1975 and welcome to the Wednesday vlog. Granted it's now technically Thursday. You'll have to excuse this assortment of fans, but it's hot as hell right now in England. Which is pretty much why my hair has done this. Oh my Christ, I look like fucking Grace from Winning Grace. Um, I hate the heat. I, I loathe the heat. If you like the heat, good for you. I, I personally can't stand it. Might be because I have to sleep during the daytime. Something that really annoyed me when I was watching um, the weather report uh, the other day was when she said, oh, by the way, people, tonight's going to be 16 degrees, so sleeping might be difficult. And I was like, fuck you. <laughs> when I go to bed, it's going to be 28 degrees, so sleeping will be difficult. Anyway, I'm wandering off topic. Currently, by the way, uh, England are playing Japan in the semi-finals of the uh, World Cup in Canada. Sorry, Canada, we beat you. Um... And uh, it's, oh, it's 1-1, and oh, come on, Lionesses, I would love you to do what our fucking useless male team can do. Get us to the finals, and then it's England versus the USA, which would just be fucking epic. Touch wood, I shouldn't have said that out loud, I'd do this. Anyway, that was really, really random. Um, the heat, though, the heat. The heat has, rem well, the heat reminded me that I wish I could live in my car, because the car is the only place most English people have aircon, but never mind. Um... Yeah, the heat reminded me that I wanted to talk about, hence the title, I don't know where to point, which is, tell me about your holidays as a kid. I absolutely loved and adored my holidays as a child, and it was more so for the kind of, the, the things, uh, how shall I put this, the intricities that we did, as opposed to where we went. Now, don't get me wrong, I, you know, my parents did take me to the States and stuff like that, but my fondest time, and not just because of the arcades I always mention in my gameplays, my fondest times of go, you know, going on holiday as a kid was uh, when we went to Blue Anchor in um, Minehead, Blue Anchor Bay, which is a seaside town, and uh, you know, we stayed in a stationary caravan, and you got to remember, this was like the very early 80s everything ran on gas including your fridge it didn't even have a toilet if you were busting for a piss in the middle of the night you had to basically walk to the toilet blocks if you wanted to shower you had to walk to the toilet blocks sounds absolutely archaic and pathetic but i loved and adored it but what i liked about it the most was the kind of the rituals that was the word i was looking for the rituals we had which is it was only like an hour and 20 minutes away but as a kid that's you know unbelievably long so you know um we, we used to go my parents used to do like you know 50p to the first person who could see the scene so if we, we sat on the motorway like, don't see it don't see it and it would always be the same well of course it would be always be at the same place when you came over the lip from uh, over from watch it and you went down the hill and you could see the scene and go i see the sea and then you won 50p it sounds absolutely pathetic but a genius on my parents part for breaking up the trip all right albeit granted very much specifically at the end of the trip. But what we used to do was when we drove through Watch It as well as a treat to kind of reward, you know, moaning fucking five-year-olds in the back of a car, we'd always stop and get fish and chips. And then we'd, you know, drive back, uh, sorry, drive on to Blue Anchor and then we'd uh, get to our caravan and we, we'd all have fish and chips. It was, it was absolutely fantastic. You know, every day um, <clears throat> when we got up, you know, um, and and my dad was a genius uh, because we were the only person in the caravan that could uh, run our, because you ran your TV off your car battery with cables out the window. And I don't know how my dad did it, but we're the only person in the caravan who could actually run our TV, a colour TV, sorry, off um, <clears throat> our car battery. I don't know what he did. Uh, and he had two car batteries, so you could charge one up when you were, you know, uh, driving and then flip it so you could uh, watch it. But yeah, every day when we got up, um, we'd have, you know, like, you know, cereal and breakfast back in the day when milk came in um, 
cartons that you could squash into an envelope, stick in a plastic jug and then pop the top and pour it out. And then we go to the beach. And uh, it was brilliant. That, that sounds very strong descriptive term for what the beach is because back then the beach wasn't amazing. Uh, but we'd always stop by the cap shop and we were allowed to have an ice cream. And I remember being a kid and not being able tall enough to get to the top of the um, the, uh, the 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 desk, but and it had a glass desk. But yeah, and you could see all the ice creams, and it would always be you could pick a flavour. Although granted, albeit when I was young, there was only three flavours: chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla. And then you could have a flake, and it, it sounds stupid, but it was, it's just those little things that made the holiday, just made it absolutely fantastic. And then obviously I'm going to talk about it, even though, sorry, Woody Pops, just had tea, talk about it in my gaming videos, but the, the treat would be every now and then they would take us to the arcades. We'd either walk down the, the seafront in Bluanga, go to this amazing arcade, which is the first time I ever played Star Wars arcade. Or they would drive us to downtown Minehead, which was just up the road, <clears throat> and uh, you know, give us a quid, which was a huge amount of money back then, because this is when arcade games cost 10p a pop. And we'd go to this place that I always say smart of piss, shame, and cigarettes. Uh, and yeah, we'd be in there for hours. And, and kudos to my parents, because you know, they, they, I don't know what they did, I think they just stood outside, just going, These video game things, they'll never catch on. And then th there were the memories of which was, you know, there's nothing worse than three bored kids stuck in a caravan when it's pissing down with rain. So they then they would take us to the the cinema, which is where I saw Temple of Doom and, and uh, Police Academy 3, ooh. Um, but yeah, they, you know, they, 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 it was such great times. It was just these little things, you know. I, I, and although, having said that, when it absolutely tanked down, tanked down, it flooded the second field in the caravan site. And so my parents went and bought us a dinghy, even though the water was only that deep. Uh, and we all stuck in it and we paddled around. But these little things as a child that just, just made these experiences so much fun. And, and I look back upon them with such, you know, enjoyment and uh, and and I can honestly say sorry I'm North America but probably enjoyed these times far more <clears throat> than I did you know when we went to the States for the first time and then eventually we you know sold our lot on this site and then we bought a chalet in Westwood Hole which is another place I talk warmly about because that's the greatest arcade I'd ever been in in my life the one that was adjoined to the chip shop and it really gutted me when I you know had a nostalgia trip a few years ago and drove back um, I also did this to um, um, our caravan site in Bloanka and found out that where our caravan, caravan was was now a um, electricity shed which was a little bit kind of disappointing um, but yeah when um, I went to Westwood Ho uh, it was um, this arcade was gone it was a car park or something. Oh, it's just like, do you have any idea how many of my life's memories were in that place? You turned it into a car park. Shame on you, burning hell, you furry motherfuckers. Um, anyway, never mind. Yeah, Westwood Hill was brilliant. All right, it's a little bit more civilised. Toilet in the um, the chalet, you know, uh, showers and shit. But I had great times here because the whole camp was on a 45 degree incline. And it had all these paths running down and crossing. And we all had skateboards. So rather than stand up and skate, what we used to do was think Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Me and my twin brother used to sit on our skateboards and race each other, sat down on these paths that would cross, chucking gravel and throwing sticks in front of the other person to make them fall off their board. Um, I remember my brother threw a stone in front of my board, um, Santa Cruz Sauber, because I had class. Uh, T-bone wheels. You didn't need to know any of that. Uh, white grip tape because I was a classy motherfucker. Yeah, and it, it, I hit the front of my board so hard that I basically flew off it and ripped the entire bottom of my trousers out. Parents weren't too happy that day, but it was so much fun. We did this for hours, just race each other down these tracks, trying to fuck each other up with stones and gravel and well, stones are gravel and sticks and stuff. And f until I became a genius and worked out that you should tie a piece of string to a stick and then you could go. <laughs> yeah, and then um, every morning my parents, you know, I, I don't know why I did this, they never asked me to. I'd walk, you know, like quarter of a mile to get them their morning newspaper, because um, that's a ritual for English people. Um, <clears throat> uh, and then I found out one day that I could just stand on the seafront on my skateboard, open my jacket and stand like that, and the sea breeze would just propel me. I'd be like this, I'd be going by people, and they'd be looking at me like I was a freak, but I'd be, yeah, never mind, not using my legs, am I? Mm. And then on the way back, it was all downhill, so, you know, it was sexy times. Uh, and no, I'm pretty sure that's when I completed my Secret Wars Panini sticker album. 
But yeah, no, the, the, these times were so great, and it wasn't necessarily the destination that we went to, it was the little things that we did in them, or our parents did for us, that made them such enjoyable experiences. So I really want to know, you know, what are your memories of going on holiday as a kid, and where did you go, and, you know, what did you do, and what does it mean to you now? Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you there.